Hey there, listeners. This is Matthew Watkins with another episode of Conference Talk, Shorts Edition. A major theme of this conference has been reducing the spirit of contention in our lives. President Nelson spoke on it, Elder Suari spoke on it, Elder Christofferson spoke on it, and others. I'm not going to spoil the episodes that we have discussing those talks, but I did want to bring up an interesting little general conference story chain, I guess you'd call it, like a scripture chain or a scripture chase. They came into my mind as I was rereading President Nelson's talk recently. He tells the story of when he was an intern for a surgical practice, and the surgeon, who was busy operating on someone with a severe case of gangrene, got upset at the way someone else had done part of the procedure, and he threw his gangrene-laden scalpel in anger and accidentally hit President Nelson on the arm with it. It could have been fatal, a very, very dangerous and frankly, really stupid thing to do. President Nelson's reaction was very calm, though. He said, it left a lasting impression on me, not the cut, but the thoughts. In that very hour, I promised myself that whatever happened in my operating room, I would never lose control of my emotions. I also vowed that day never to throw anything in anger, whether it be scalpels or words. When he talked about never throwing anything in anger, I immediately remembered two talks given by his predecessors, President Monson and President Hinckley. I'm going to start with President Monson. Now, this is from the April 2009 General Conference. So this would have been the first General Conference on my mission, actually. And he tells this heart-wrenching story. Now, while there were no physical repercussions to President Nelson, he did not get infected by his surgeon's outburst. This one, unfortunately, does not have quite the happy ending. President Monson tells a story of a young couple with an 18-month-old son that were driving on a long trip. And back then, no seatbelts, no car seats. It was just them all sitting in the front on the bench-style seat with the 18-month-old baby boy in the middle. He says, Sometime during the trip, the husband and wife had a disagreement. After all these years, I cannot remember what caused it. But I do remember that their argument escalated and became so heated that they were eventually yelling at one another. Understandably, this caused their young son to begin crying, which the husband said only added to his anger. Losing total control of his temper, he picked up a toy the child had dropped on the seat and flung it in the direction of his wife. He missed hitting his wife. Instead, the toy struck their son, with the result that he was brain damaged and would be handicapped for the rest of his life. Now, I've had children, I'm sure many of you have too, 18 months old, that's old enough to see a personality. That's old enough to start hearing first words. That's old enough to start really getting to know your baby. And with one angry decision, you have changed all of that forever. Another story about throwing from President Hinckley in his October 2007 talk, Slow to Anger. He said, many years ago, I worked for one of our rail, rail, that's a funny word, railroads. Let's try that. A switchman was aimlessly strolling about the platform one day. I asked him to move a car to another track, and he exploded. He threw his cap on the pavement and jumped up and down on it, swearing like a drunken sailor. I stood there and laughed at his childish behavior. Noting my laughter, he began to laugh at his own foolishness. He then quietly climbed onto the switch engine, drove it over to the empty car, and moved it to an empty track. So I'm not going to come up with something to tie these three stories together. It's just really interesting that three prophets successively in a row spoke about anger and contention. And all three talked about people throwing things. I just think that's kind of interesting. See you next time.